Hi guys, my name is Emmanuel. Welcome to the ninth video of this tutorial series. Today I'm going to be teaching you about the scroll view. Now this is a very important concept, especially when dealing with UI. Uh, just create a new project and let's jump right in. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to add a scroll view to our view controller. Okay, and uh, remember, just click on this button right here and type in scroll view. Click drag down. Great. So we're going to stretch this across the screen and add constraint to all four corners like that. Great. Now the next thing we're going to need to do is to add a UI view. So I'm just going to hold down command shift and L and then type in UI view like that. Awesome. So now we have a UI view. We need to add constraint to this UI view as well. So click here and I'm going to add 0000. zero, zero, zero. And one thing we need to do is to make sure that we are selecting the scroll view like this for all the four um, corners. Awesome. So zero. Now we've added that finally, and anyway, we're not finally, but we need to add we need to add a width to this um, UI view. So I'm going to hold down Control, click here, and drag to our scroll view let go and select equal widths. So what we're simply saying is the width of this view should be the same as the width of the scroll view. Okay. Now there's one more thing we need to work on, which is the height of this content view. One thing we could do is to simply specify a height like this, and I can put in a height of like a thousand and just like that, it's already scrollable. I hope you can see this. Okay. So there are actually different ways you can do this. You can decide to give a constant height like we've done here. We could also decide to like add um, views to this content view and then allow the content view to grow depending on the view. So for example, I could add a stack view. So I'm just going to type in stack view like that and take in the vertical. And um, I'm just going to add constraint to all four corners again, zero. And then in our stack view, I'm going to add a UI view like this. So now our UI view is going to have a height. So let's give this a height of um, probably 200. And just like that, you can see that the error is out because it is taking the height of the view within the stack view. Okay. Now, the beauty about using the stack view is I could actually duplicate the UI view and it's just going to expand like that. So let's make a couple of these. And I'm going to give these different colors just to make it a little bit stylish. And finally, let's use a dark color. Beautiful. So this is what we have. And you can see that it actually scrolls to the bottom without any issues. And we could actually adjust the height of some of them. So I can make this like 50. I can make this like, uh, let's say 300. Make some, maybe this guy 100, like that. So that's like the beauty of this. And uh, finally, I'd like to show you one more thing. So rather than having to scroll like this, if we wanted to see everything as a single view, what we could do is click right here and head over to this, um, what's it called? Size Inspector, okay? And we're going to click on this fixed and select free form. Now, when we do that, we can now specify a custom height. So I could just simply say 1000 or to make it more obvious, I'll make it 2000. And you can see that this is our view controller and we don't need to scroll. So we can actually design stuff and add more things to our um, view and even take it to the bottom. And uh, when we run this on a real device, it's going to be scrollable. Okay. And uh, just to show you that this works, I'm going to run this in our iPhone 11 and let's see what we have. So obviously what we expect is that the last um, box should be dark gray. So you can see that when we scroll, the last um, UI view is the dark gray, so it actually works. And if we try to rotate this device like this, 
we can see that it's still scrollable, right? And it goes down to the last one, which is the dark gray. So I, uh, this is actually something worth knowing. So when you're designing your UI view, you need to make sure that you have access to every element in the UI view. Okay, so um, this brings us to the end of this video. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. If you liked it, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. See you in the next video.